The following program is a production of HEW Entertainment, heard on the official website of HEW Entertainment. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. The beat! The man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1641-985-7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us from 1647-724-4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion 10 times! Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace! Emailing us works for you too. Email us at H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god! J B L. J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of HEW Entertainment Radio on the official website of HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Wah. The champ is here! Streaming live on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. HW Entertainment Radio is inviting you to comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So what are you waiting for? Log on and listen now.
fans listening to us on YouTube.com, Jonathan Clark 22. What's up to our Facebook fans listening to us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash HGW Entertainment? We invite you to join the conversation on our Twitter page at HGW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark 1, where you can also hear the show. A lot of places you can hear the show. We are streaming on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So make sure you drop us some comments about what we're talking about this week. I'm going to put over, once again, one of my favorite divas of all time, AJ. I know she's only been there a couple of months since signing with WWE and being a part of NXT Season 3, one of the final seasons of NXT that was actually on television before the show became a web show on WWE.com and YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, a lot of stuff happening on YouTube, everything from the streaming of the WrestleMania 28 press conference to the uh, messages going to be posted by The Rock and John Cena just a couple of days before, matter of hours before that big once-in-a-lifetime match happening at WrestleMania 28. So you guys got a lot of stuff happening on YouTube, everything from the WrestleMania press conference streaming both on YouTube.com and the official website of WWE, the all-new WWE.com just threw up a video blog on the all-new WWE.com and the revamping of that website just in time for coverage of WrestleMania 28. You have the messages coming from John Cena and The Rock just a couple of days, a matter of hours, before their match at WrestleMania 28. A couple of weeks ago here on YouTube.com, Jonathan Clark 22, I talked about AJ being in that angle with the big show and Daniel Bryan at the start of 2012. And since then, AJ's career has really taken off. You know, I was putting AJ over as one of the Divas who could potentially challenge for the Divas Championship. She's not at a level yet to challenge for the Divas Championship, but on a scale of three to five uh, stars, I'm definitely going to have to put AJ probably there between three to four stars uh, on a scale of her potentially challenging for the Divas Championship because it seems like AJ has really, really upped her game and really improved her in-ring performance. Definitely, she's done everything from utilizing the octopus to now utilizing the label lock. And the label lock was something that I was just waiting for AJ to start utilizing as part of her in-ring arsenal. She just recently used that against one of the Bella Twins. In the back-to-back -back matches, we saw AJ compete in singles matches against the Bella Twins, offering her an incredible opportunity to be in line for a push and a potential chance at the Divas Championship. It's ironic that both uh, AJ and Daniel Bryan are getting pushes now, and it's just a matter of time, I believe, before the Divas Championship is given to AJ to go inside with uh, Daniel Bryan. Being the world champion, I'm very proud of AJ's accomplishments since premiering with WWE and signing with them long before she was ever considered to be a part of NXT Season 3. She signs a developmental deal with WWE and is brought in as a part of NXT Season 3, and since then her career has really taken off. After being eliminated as one of the top divas of NXT Season 3 and that award being given to Caitlyn, still waiting for Caitlyn to do something productive with her career, someone who I am feeling really sorry for. She continues to be a part of NXT Season 5 Redemption, which is an extended season of NXT, the longest season of NXT we have seen going a number of weeks. I would have expected a winner of NXT Season 3 to be crowned by now, but with William Regal being the general manager of the show and so many different angles going on with past uh, superstars who appeared on uh, previous installments of NXT Seasons, Seems like they're having a lot of fun there with that one, so I guess that's the reason why this season of NXT has been prolonged. Upon signing a deal with WWE and appearing on SmackDown for a number of weeks as part of a tag team with Caitlyn, AJ appears on numerous NXT editions, including the finale of NXT Season 3 and a number of NXT Season 5 redemption shows in matches against some of the uh, former NXT Divas who have been appearing occasionally on the show. We've seen her compete against everyone from Maxine to a number of other Divas. So it seems like AJ is still getting a bit of TV time, and if not TV time, she's appearing on web shows for WWE. So it's uh, nice to see AJ getting a bit of in-ring time. She's being put over more and more consistently than Caitlyn. A number of WWE Divas I would love to see inside of the ring more. Oksana is one who really needs to improve her uh, in-ring performance. Definitely more of a valet uh, type of thing for Oksana has been developing with SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long, the likely candidate to win the 12-man uh, tag team match at WrestleMania this year. Would love to see something for Oksana develop. Would love to see something for Caitlyn develop. But it seems like, technically, AJ is the one who has been uh, delivering when it comes to performance, uh, when it comes to storylines, when it comes to entertainment value. All of those things really adding up and coming together for AJ. She seems to be the one who is being consistently put over. Out of all of the Divas we have seen on NXT Season 3, we have yet to see Naomi 
on WWE television. I'm still wondering where she is, too. I'm still wondering where a lot of the divas are. Uh, a lot of them are still on the web show NXT uh, Season 5 Redemption, and we have yet to see Caitlyn on television. So technically, the one who really won NXT Season 3, in my opinion, is not Caitlyn, although it's uh, officially ruled in the, in the record books that she won NXT Season 3. In my opinion, the one who really won and who is really benefiting and continuing to benefit from NXT Season 3, uh, the Diva Edition, featuring everyone from the Bella Twins to Kelly Kelly to Naomi to Maxine, was AJ, because AJ is actually involved in a main event angle now, which is something that I preached AJ should be involved in. She's involved in the World Championship angle heading into WrestleMania 28 as the valet for World Champion Daniel Bryan. He's not the most entertaining World Champion. A lot of people love him, a bit of a mixed reaction. Uh, for Daniel Bryan, a certain portion of the audience love Daniel Bryan, a certain portion of the audience hate Daniel Bryan. His gimmick is annoying. We just saw some tag team work involving himself, AJ, and The Miz. His